Welcome to a KU School of Medicine tour of gram-positive bacteria. We will start by walking up the Murphy Steps where you will pose to discuss gram-positives. Let's enter Murphy Building where Dean Cox's office is, so we will start with Coxie. We'll head out of Murphy across to Sudler, where the initial Zeal Sim Center was built. The Zeal Sim Lab is brand new and full of staff. Learning via simulation is a positive catalyst for educational change, so we'll remember that the gram-positive coxie over here in Zeal are gram-positive. First, there is a sim surgery going on. Staff in the sim surgery hope blood coagulates like Staphylococcus aureus, because Staph aureus is catalase positive and coagulase positive. Staph aureus is a virulent bug. Toxin-mediated diseases include gastroenteritis and toxic shock syndrome, and the bacterium can lead to skin and soft tissue infection, like of a surgical wound, and even endocarditis. Look across the hall to a respiratory simulation. Staff in the Sims respiratory simulation do not want bleeding. In this room, they are coagulase negative. Remember the Sim lab is new, or novo, so it is sensitive to being newly colonized with skin flora like staph epidermidis. Staph epidermidis is novo biosin sensitive. There are no real Foley catheters being placed in the Sim lab, though, so even though it's new. It's novo-resistant with staph saprophyticus, which causes UTIs in sexually active young women. Now we will exit zeal toward the old Olathe Hall, where there is no catalyst for change. Now we have catalase negative coxie. As we head down the hall, we have to consult our map because we want to remember down the Delp hallway is alpha hemolysis or green hemolysis on blood agar. Down Olathe Hall is beta hemolysis, which turns clear. And all the way down in Robinson, we have gamma hemolysis, which means no hemolysis on blood agar at all. First, let's go to hallway A, the Delp hallway. Remember, Dr. Delp did not have an extra chin. He is extra chin or optogen negative. Dr. Delp also did not show his teeth in the portrait. Tooth plaque contains Streptococcus viridens. This group does not have a capsule. This contains organisms such as Strep mitis and Strep mutans. Dr. Delp is famous also for physical diagnosis, such as finding skin findings and endocarditis caused by viridin streptococci. There's another bug hiding all the way down in Delp hallway. It's because it's extra chin sensitive and it's hiding in a capsule. Because Dr. Delp is impeccable in physical diagnosis, he could describe oscillatory findings in pneumonia from streptococcus pneumoniae. Strep pneumo is bile soluble, so think, think of it as being lysed by bile, so it's broken up if you swallow it. Our B hallway is Olathe with its beta homolysis. Over in Olathe, we have strep pyogenes or group A strep. Remember, pyo equals pus, and strep throat gives you pus on your tonsils. This needs antibiotics, so think of bacitracin sensitive. S is for strep. Also in our B hallway is strep A galactiae or group B strep. Remember that a gal gets tested for group B strep when she is pregnant. This test is with a rectal swab she is resistant to getting, and S A galactiae is bacitracin resistant. Lastly, in our C hallway, Robinson, is where we have gamma hemolysis. With gamma hemolysis, there is no hemolysis, so the blood agar stays red like pizza sauce. So how about 
we grab a pepperoni pizza with peptostreptococcus and enter Clendenning with enterococcus to eat our lunch before we head to our next stop. We don't want to forget about our gram positive rods, so we've left Robinson and we're heading towards Kermeyer Gym. So let's think about exercise. First, we'll want to do some cardio, where the spin class will get us crying for carinobacterium. Then we'll work on our back with bacillus using a barbell, because that'll get us thinking about how these organisms are rod shaped. And the strength training will give us an anaerobic workout with clostridium, which is an anaerobic gram positive rod. Just be careful not to cut yourself because clostridium can cause wound infections. After a thorough tour and a good gram positive rod workout, we'll take a shower and grab some mouthwash with Listerine Listeria. Don't forget to shake the Listerine bottle, which resembles Listerine Listeria's tumbling motility. Well, that's it. Thanks for touring gram-positive bacteria with me, and good luck on all of your studies.